hi friends uh, once again yeah here is another problem it is saying if 8 cot x equals to 7 evaluate 1 plus sin x times 1 minus sin x whole to the upon right whole divided by 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x and another problem is cot square x it's actually square x right cot square x so before proceeding we must have to draw a right angle triangle so let me draw a right angle triangle okay so this is a let me name it b and c since here is the reference angle x so let me tell this angle is x okay now let's go again for the question 8x it is given that it's 8 cot x equals to 7 so from here I can get that 8 is multiplying this cot so it will go this side here it is multiplying so here will, it will be dividing this 7 so cot x equals to 7 divided by 8 right 7 divided by 8 and again we know the ratio of cot is the base to the ratio perpendicular right so for the base let's represent by P and P represents the perpendicular so we got the value of base that's 7 and perpendicular that's 8 so again let's come to this figure right and we know uh, already we have learned that the side in which the angle seats is the base so here this angle is seated in this side that's why it is base so here base is equals to 7 and the side opposite to the angle is the perpendicular right is the perpendicular so that's why this perpendicular is equals to 8 right is equals to 8 so now we have to find out the hypotenuse that's hypotenuse equals to what right so how can we find out yeah again by using the Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem that's h square equals to p square plus b square it means hypotenuse square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the square of the perpendicular and the square of the base right so here we don't know the value of h so h square equals to perpendicular square that's 8 square base square that's 7 square okay and again h square equals to 8 square that is 64 and 7 square that is yeah exactly 49 and it is 4 plus 9 it's 13 carry over 3 uh, sorry uh, 13 3 carry over 1 6 plus 4 10 plus 1 13 uh, sorry 10 plus 1 11 so it will be 113 right 9 plus 4 13 carry over 1 6 plus 4 10 plus 1 11 so it is 113 therefore the value of h is 113 but it's root over because I'm just removing this square to remove the square we have to put a root here so we got the value of hypotenuse yeah this is 103 113 right now we can get all the ratios right so let's first find out the ratio sin x okay so can we change yeah it will be good to change the color right yeah this is now sin x so sin x will be yeah obviously perpendicular to the hypotenuse so the perpendicular is 8 and hypotenuse yeah we just find out that's 113 but root over right and again we have to find out the cos x right so let's find out cos x so what will be the cos x yeah of course it will be base to the hypotenuse so what is our base that is 7 and another hypotenuse is right exactly 113 okay now we got the value of sine x and cos x so we are now able to solve these expressions okay so let's go to solve this expression and our expression is 1 plus sine x times 1 minus sine x and this whole divided by 1 minus 
cos x times 1 plus cos x so 1 plus sin x 1 minus sin x right so what is the value of 1 plus sin x 1 and plus sin sin x that is 8 upon 13 right so 8 upon 113 but root over again this is multiplied by this is 1 here 1 minus sin x so 1 minus sin x that is 8 upon 113 right root over and this whole divided by 1 plus 1 minus cos x 1 minus cos x so cos x well of cos x is 7 upon 113 7 upon 113 but it's in root over and here 1 plus cos x this is plus okay so 1 plus cos x that is 7 upon 113 root over right so now how to solve this yeah exactly 1 plus 8 upon 113 1 minus 8 upon 130 it is looking like a formula right a plus b a minus b yeah exactly exactly you got the correct formula that's a plus b times a minus b is the formula of a square minus b square exactly right so this is the formula keep in mind right so I'm applying the same formula a plus b right a plus b a minus b that is 1 square minus 8 upon 113 but it's under root all square right so hold to the base again a minus b a plus b a minus b a minus b multiply a plus b that is a square minus b square again 1 square minus this is 1 square minus 7 upon 113 whole square so it will be 1 minus 64 upon 113 right and upon 1 minus 7 upon 113 again if we take the LCM it will be 113 upon 6 uh, sorry minus 64 upon 113 and whole again 113 minus this uh, 7 square will be this will be 49 right uh, actually this will be 49 so 49 upon 113 so let's go ahead further right so 113 minus 64 it is again 49 right upon 113 and whole to the upon this is here again here 103 minus 49 it will be 64 whole to the upon 113 so this 103 will go upside this will go uh, comes down downstairs so 49 upon 113 multiply this will go upside and this will go th this will come downstairs so 49 upon 113 and this will go here right 113 upon 64 right so this 113 113 cuts out and 49 upon 64 this is our answer okay like this we have to do here I think you are confusing uh, I'm just writing the formula that's a upon B whole to the upon C upon D is equals to a upon B multiply D upon C this is the formula okay keep this formula in mind so now let's go ahead uh, another question is cot square X so it's simple that's cot square x so cot x is already given here by the problem it is s s uh, 7 upon 8 right 7 upon 8 so let's write here 7 upon 8 it's 7 upon 8 square that is 49 upon 64 yeah here we are looking uh, we are watching here that these are the same thing 49 and 49 right so we can say here that this and these both are equal right so like this uh, we solve this problem okay so what's in another video we are doing more stuffs right more problems that will uh, surely clear you all the doubts of the trigonometric ratios thank you